Good morning, neighborhood community. Good morning. Hold on. I gotta turn off there here. Uh, there. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Bye. Good morning. <laughs> That's enough. I'm melting. Yes, dear. <laughs> I look like I stuck my finger in a light socket. I need a haircut. I, I could work that out for you if you want. Yeah, thanks. No thanks. So, Bree and Taylor are supposed to come over sometime tonight. Uh -huh. We're going to do hamburgers on the grill and Groovy. discuss some stuff that's been going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, still have a slight migraine. My neck hurts. I need to find a masseuse that'll come to the house <laughs> and do a massage for me for free. <laughs> yeah. Should be everywhere, right? Yeah. I don't know why I can't just call one and say, come on over and give me a free massage for an hour. Maybe two. What's wrong with that? Because mm. <laughs> I think that would help a lot. My neck is all tight. Uh, anyway, what are you up to today, sweetie? Um, not real sure. Got uh, to talk to somebody about a job that um, is not really part of our job, but I'll talk to him anyway. See how that works out. Repertoire. It's not part of our repertoire. Someone wants us to do a cleaning service, and we're not a cleaning service. We don't have tools as a cleaning service. So. We're a cleaning company. Yeah, and they're what they're offering depending on the size of the house, is not very much. So I may just turn it down, which sounds uncomfortable. You clean here. we got a party this weekend. I clean here all the time. No, everything needs to be dusted. The well, movies need to be job. put alphabetically. Those things don't bother me. You're the one that needs to go through that. <clears throat> still having issues. Every time I get up to do something, I feel extremely nauseous. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what's going on with that. And the doctors don't really want to do... They want to do what they want to do. And I know what they want to do is not what I need. So, I'm still fighting with doctors. I know. I'm probably being stubborn. Yes, you're being stubborn. And they're being, you know, stubborn as well. They think you ought to come in and praise them as the, the glorious doctors but that they are and do as you're told. Do you know how much it's going to cost for me to have a colonoscopy? Yeah, I, and I understand that. We don't for have them to, that money. I know, and, and three weeks later to go and say, oh, well, your colonoscopy was uh, fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Have you. a nice day. They're going to send me on my way. It's your psych meds. You need to stop taking your yeah, psych Yeah, yeah, we love that one. We love that one. That one we heard a lot from one yeah. particular doctor. I need to stop taking my psych meds. I stopped that one. I tried that once. Under supervision. Yeah, but that was under recommendation by that crazy doctor. Right. Says your problem is you take psych meds. Psych right. meds make you diuretic. Or right. constipated or whatever it was at the time. I don't it remember. But, but they tried to tell me I needed to go off my psych meds. So with my psych doctor's supervision we started weaning me off of my psych meds and that is what triggered me yeah, to become OCD. It was a very 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 bad time yeah for both of us so, so I don't want to go back and have that have to go through all that can't, again can't and do that. I don't know what to do can't I don't know what to do so besides all that me I'm just going to we're going to look at the um, uh, possible job I may have to go take a look at it, say yes or no. I mean, if I have to, if I have to just vacuum the floor and sweep, then I'll do that for what they're offering. <laughs> but if the house is empty and you gotta like swiffer the ceilings and wipe down the baseboards and stuff <clears throat> like that, that's pretty easy. I guarantee you that that's not. A, I think we're gonna walk into a disaster. Is what we're gonna walk into. So we'll see what happens. Bye. So now I'm going to do a little light sanding of some of the fill that I did, and hopefully I don't have uh, to fill the cat or sand the cat, and I, uh, then I'm going to paint. Now I've run into a little bit of a problem, I actually just noticed this recently. I have an old can, 
I've used this paint before, this color. It's called Tawny Birch from uh, Home Depot. And uh, I used it to uh, paint the back room years ago when we first moved in so that I actually had a can of it. And I every now and then would pull it out to, to uh, uh, touch up and everything. So when I decided to do the rest of the house, I said, might as well use the same color. Uh, when you sell houses, uh, people tend to want to see uh, neutral colors, and this is a pretty neutral color. So I bought a whole new can of the, of the same color, and I opened the other can. I don't know if you can see this, because it does not want to focus on a featureless wall. But there's a difference in color here. Slight difference. Now, I don't know what it's from. <clears throat> the old paint or the new paint? So, um, I'm going to open up both cans, put a little sample on the wall, and see, uh, see where I am. Boy, this does not want to focus on this wall. Okay, so I took the two different uh, shades here, put them on the wall, on the different uh, sections that are different colors and I will see which one is the darker because most of the walls done in the darker but there's just a couple of spots here that are done in a, in a lighter color see what happens. so guys here I am still with my crazy hair sorry but it's 103 degrees outside this little air conditioner thing is at 92 Kevin just emptied it to help make it run better. And right now we are in the process, or Kevin is in the process, of putting a second air the second air conditioner back in the window because we are having a heat. Tropical heat wave. Tropical heat wave. <laughs> anyway. Um, we're getting really bad heat again, high heat, it's supposed to get up into the 110s again um, sometime this week. So we are dying once again, guys. I know, it's horrible for us to be sitting here talking about um, the, heat. the heat. Doesn't that go behind the air conditioner? It does if I can get it. Oh, I see what you're doing. Here, we'll film Kevin doing that while I'm talking. He's putting the air conditioner in. And he's having issues. So, but anyway, that's what we're doing. Taylor and Bree are on their way over and we are going to discuss some of the happenings that have been taking place at their home. See you soon. So we're sitting in the house watching some of the clips and I hear all these noises out here. So we come outside and it just calmed down, but it has been, apparently it's been pretty darn windy. You just saw Kevin picking up a tarp that just blew around our backyard. But it's extremely, extremely hot right now and very windy. And Taylor and Bree are here. Yo. Hello. And we're watching some of the clips that have taken place at their house. And we will discuss all of that in a little while with them and interview Barbecue them. Barbecue is going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Yeah, yeah with Jeff here. With those flames yeah, or with nice those and winds. Yeah. Kevin is very dangerous when he barbecues. Oh, are you? Really? Twice he set the barbecue on fire. I'm a grill master, so I think we'll, we'll be able to work it out. All right. <laughs> so we're going to go back inside. Uh, yes, I still haven't done a thing with my hair. There's nothing wrong with yes, that. Psycho's back, I told you. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Psycho and... Psycho Billy. There you go. All right, so I got late at night, and I didn't tell you guys what I had done in here. Uh, I got very busy around here. We got friends over and stuff going on, and I am blurry. There I am. So uh, what I did was, you know that I had scraped yesterday and plastered, so what I did, of course, was sand and paint. So 
it's now ready for baseboard and hopefully if I'm not working that's what's going to want to start tomorrow. My wife is very loud right now even though my wife is very loud right now even though she knows I'm recording. So uh <laughs> So that's what I did today. Goodbye. Hello everybody. Uh-oh, you already got Angel going. <laughs> I know I wasn't supposed to say hello because this is the end. That's right. You do not say hello at the end. <laughs> Unless you're the Beatles and it's hello, goodbye. Hello. I say hello. You say goodbye. I say hello. <laughs> anyway, we got Taylor and Bree here. As you already know, because... And Blue Car Lady that we can't show you. Because Yes, Blue Car Lady is <laughs> here too. But we barbecued earlier, and we watched some video clips of... My house. What's been going on at their place. What do you think, Ben, about what's been going on? Um, and about what you saw and heard tonight? Well, it's, uh... Unfortunately, the stuff that we got on camera is a lot more mild than what's been happening, but we definitely got some pretty uh, interesting things. That, uh, Definitely some different things. You don't get to see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, some different things. Yeah. yeah. Stuff that we didn't know was happening. But in uh, in true historical fashion of um, investigation videos that myself and my colleagues, Jake and Jordan, have been in, <laughs> it's definitely going to be interesting. Yeah. So... But now we're done doing that, we're done eating, and we are going to watch the movie Annabelle. These two have never seen it before, and it's been a long time since we've seen it. Uh, Blue Car Lady, have you ever seen Annabelle? No. no. I wanted to, though. I'm a Chucky doll. I love my Chucky doll. He sleeps in here. What does that have to do with Annabelle? <laughs> she she goes off it's on tangents. She goes off on tangents. Don't <laughs> mind her. Um, anyway, we're getting ready to watch Annabelle, so we're gonna call it an evening. We hope you enjoy. Do you have Do you have anything to add, baby? Nice of you to ask. Okay, we're gonna call it an evening, and uh, <laughs> it's okay, baby. See, you see how important I am around here. <laughs> Don't worry, you're Kev. very important. You do all the editing. I believe in you, Kev. <laughs> you do all the editing, baby. I wouldn't be I'd be lost without you. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you saw in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite. Share our video with your family and friends. Please leave us a comment down below. But most of all, please subscribe and we shall see you all tomorrow.